Jazz Modes. If just that word gives you anxiety because you think it requires learning hundreds of scales, stick with me because in this video you get a simple tip to help reduce the amount you have to learn and give you a plan of action on how to use them. Hi, my name is Jason Klobnik, and I'm a jazz trumpeter from Denver, Colorado that helps musicians find a better way to improvise. If you're looking for a quick jazz improv tip that will help your soloing, then you've come to the right place. I was in the sixth grade when one of my first jazz teachers, a bassist named Susie Maget, introduced me to Miles Davis' album, Kind of Blue. It's arguably the most iconic jazz album ever made and was full of songs that I later learned were considered modal or using modes. For those that might not know what that means, they are scales that have a set of characteristic melodic behaviors. You may have heard terms like Dorian, Mixolydian, Phrygian, and others. These are the Greek names for various modes based off of the major scale. If this is new to you, this might be a little daunting. Again, the goal of this video isn't to teach music theory. There's plenty of people out there doing that. But I hope to simplify this for you and then show you a few tools on how you can use them. I think of these modes as the parent major scale, but the root starting on a different note. So if you have a C major scale and start it on the second note, the D, and play it up an octave, you're playing the D Dorian scale. Its characteristic is a minor scale with a natural sixth. Notice it's still just the C major scale, but starting on a different note. We can do the same thing for the mode starting on an E, which is the Phrygian mode. The mode starting on F, which is Lydian, G, which is Mixolydian, A, which is Aeolian, and B, which is Locrian. Seven different modes, all with the same collection of pitches found in the C major scale, which would be Ionian for my music theorists that might be picking this apart. So you can do the same modal treatment to minor scales, which I might save for a different video because that is a fairly deep dive. My biggest issue with scales and modes is that beginner and intermediate improvisers get hung up on the word and see a pitch collection with seven notes. Add in educators telling them that they have to learn every scale and mode and this causes the brain to have information overload, which can make the soloist freeze up or just play up and down a scale. So band directors, does that sound familiar? So here's my recommendation for using modes. Find the parent scale first. If you know you're playing Miles Davis tune, so what? You see the first chord is a D minor seven. Most educators tell their students to use D Dorian as the scale to use when they solo. Well, what's the parent scale? In this case, it's C major. Then when we need to figure out what are the characteristic notes of the mode. I mentioned earlier in the video that for Dorian, it was the sixth note of that scale. Well, if you're thinking C major, that note ends up being its seventh note of the scale or the B natural. Now I'm going to pick my targets, which are the punctuation to the line I'm going to play. I can use that B natural as a target. But you'll notice that the chord progression for So What is D minor for a long time. Am I just going to use the B natural as my target the whole time? Well, of course not. So I need to pick a few other targets. I'll also use F, A, and E. I go into this in a lot more detail in my jazz targeting courses, which you can check out in the link below. I'll put those targets in key spots, like the end of either two or four bar phrases, and then use various melodic tools and find ways to connect them together with ideas and lines that are complementary. It's similar to creating sentences. If I were to say, I'm going to the store, would my next sentence be, my favorite color is green? <laughs> well, if you're a toddler, maybe. Wouldn't, I'm going to the store, and I'm going to buy some bread, make more sense, store, and bread. They're cohesive. This is what targeting helps you accomplish. I'll do that same process for the next chord in So What, which is E flat minor. I can take those same things and use them up a half step. Finally, for those that are a little more advanced, 
Don't stick with just one mode that you're supposed to play. Change the texture and color up by picking other modes, scales, and devices to make the overall solo interesting. As with almost all of my videos, I'm going to show you how I might do this over Sowa and then give you a chance in this video to try it out too. How did it go? Does thinking about modes in this way simplify this process better for you? What about the recommendations of how to use them? Leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought of this tip. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that it has added value or benefit to your playing in some way. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell that's right next to it that lets you know when another video comes out. And if you know any other musician that might find this useful, you can share it with them too. Until then, my name is Jason Klobnik, and I'll see you on the next one.